realize in real life that had it not been for me, we wouldn't even have this diary, and these people would not have survived as long as they did. You need to take your time to think it through. No, I don't. What do I do? Meep Geese was the secretary who risked her life to save a Jewish family and through her heroic action enabled generations to bear witness. You have to be quiet. You can't open the windows and you can't use the loo. I know this is a lot to take in. Your family will be here later and we'll make this place into a home. If you need to cry, cry now. If not for me, the world would never have come to know the story of Anne Frank, the young girl who documented her years of hiding from the Nazis in Amsterdam during World War II. You said I couldn't bring my cat because you'd make too much noise. But it's just not fair. Meep is the only one who actually cares, visiting the cat at the apartment to make sure he's all right. Few know the woman who protected her and her family. Her life now the subject of a National Geographic series, A Small Light. Actress Belle Powley playing Meep, seen recently on The Morning Show. And actor Liev Shriver playing Anne Frank's father Otto, known for hit roles in the X-Men franchise and on TV as Ray Donovan. When the Nazis occupied Amsterdam and began targeting and transporting Jews to concentration camps, Otto Frank turned to Meep, his trusted secretary, for help. And she agreed. We are going into hiding. Not right away. I still have a lot to plan. Where? It's better if you know as little as possible right now. But when we get there, I will need your help getting food and medicine. Whatever you need. Finish, please. Belle, why is Meep such a fascinating and important character to play? Because she's an every woman. You know, she, of course, she did incredibly heroic things. And in my eyes, she is a hero. But she never wanted to be called a hero. You know, she never wanted to be put on a pedestal. She wanted us to see a bit of ourselves in her. Liev, was it surreal at all to play Otto Frank? This is a historic figure that we've all read about in books, but you brought him back to life. Yeah, it was a little surreal. I think it's important to uh, find new ways to tell these stories. And I think the idea of focusing on Meep, who was in the, in the diary as sort of a peripheral character, who was a really smart. Writers Joan Rader and Tony Phelan sought to highlight Meep and Otto's moments of ordinary courage against the terrifying backdrop of war. She was a regular person who history happened to, and she happened to step up. Okay, here's what's gonna happen. I need you to talk to me. Just tell me something, anything. Like, like what? It doesn't matter, just talk, just talk like you don't have a care in the world, and smile Meep. at the same time, and follow me. If you can, no. you have to. And we suddenly had this desire to show not just the moments of heroism, but the moments of um, doubt and insecurity and, you know, to really show the humanity of a human being put in that situation. And in her head, she, even though, of course, she was putting her neck on the line and she was risking her life every day for two years, it was a simple thing. She yeah. was just helping her friends who were in need. Like, there was no other option. Of course, she was going to say yes. After two years in hiding, the Frank family was captured. Anne and her sister Margot later died at Bergen-Belsen concentration camp. After the Nazis stormed their hiding place, Meep collected Anne's journal, unknowingly preserving what was to become one of the most powerful accounts of the Holocaust. And when Otto came back and eventually when they found out, sadly, that the girls had been, that they died at Birken Belsen. She, she took the diary and the papers and she handed them to Otto and said, this is your daughter's legacy. And they then spent the rest of their lives dedicated to the diary and talking about him. The actors say the series comes at a crucial time and Meep's story is all the more relevant today. I mean, who would have ever thought that, you know, in our time we would have a ground war in Ukraine and anti-Semitism would be on the rise again. And to remind future generations that these things have a way of repeating themselves, mm -hmm. that there are patterns to look out for. Yeah, and also we shouldn't think, I think you do it a disservice if you just only think about it, like you're playing something from the past. You know, what Tony and Joan kept reminding us is that for these people it is the present and it was modern times. We live in a scary time. And so to reach a new audience with this story and to say you can be a force for light, you can be a force for good by little actions in your life, is something that we, you know, as storytellers really stand behind. Meep's legacy, heroism in the face of tyranny, standing for what is right, no matter the cost. We can't save everyone, 
But if I don't try, I don't think I'll be able to live with myself. She's incredibly relatable. She said, you don't have to be special to help others. Anyone can turn on a small light in a dark room, and I think that's an incredibly um, powerful message. And I certainly related to her, and I think a lot of young women, young people out there will as well. She was just an ordinary person who was put in a very extraordinary circumstance and chose to do the right thing. And yeah, I think we can all learn from that. Our thanks to Ariel. The premiere episodes of A Small Light are now streaming on Hulu and Disney+. Plus. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.